Hello, my name is Tim Strickland and I'm your host for Oslo Stories. Today we get to hear from Jim Roddy, immediate past president of the Jacksonville Oslo Chamber of Commerce. He's going to tell us about his experience as a patient at the Oslo Memorial Hospital Emergency Department. I'm Jim Roddy, uh, originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, I came to Jacksonville um, in 1957, of course, with the Marine Corps. And during my 20 plus years in the Marine Corps, I was uh, in and out of Jacksonville several times. Um, I retired in 1976 and I have been a resident of Onslow County since then. Um, I'm presently the owner of Fast and Clean Incorporated, which is an automobile accessories uh, and parts car store. I uh, had occasion to visit the emergency room at Onslow County uh, Memorial Hospital um, about, uh, about a year ago. Uh, as a result of having some chest pains. And once I uh, filled out the paper in the emergency room, um, the uh, provider uh, immediately looked at it and asked me what kind of chest pains I was having. When I described those um, to her, um, she asked my age and, and I told her I was uh, 70 years old. And I guess that triggered something because within a matter of minutes, I was in bed hooked up with all kinds of contraptions and doing all kinds of tests. And shortly after that, I was whisked off to a bed. And shortly after that, this doctor came in and asked me how I was feeling and to describe my pain, and I, and I did so. And she described the test that they had taken. And she told me that the test looked pretty good, but they wanted to run some more tests just to make sure. Uh, after she ran those tests, my wife came in and, and sat. Uh, she came back and she said, well, the tests still look good. However, um, I would like to keep you here overnight. Um, and she said, what do you think about that? I said, well, if the tests are okay, I want to go home. And she said, well, I, I, that's understandable. Uh, however, I'd like for you and your wife to sit and, and, and talk about it for a minute because I'd like for you to stay. I'll be back in a few minutes. So my wife asked, what do you think? I said, I want to go home. Uh, a few minutes later, the doctor, and I think her name was Dr. Longoria, um, she returned and she said, well, what's your decision? Are you going to stay? I said, no, I want to go home. And she said, well, I was hoping you, you made uh, another decision um, because we really need to run another series of tests. There could be something there, uh, even though the tests that we've taken so far are normal. Um, she said, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave you for a few more minutes and, and uh, you can talk it over with your wife again and, and see, how, see how it happens. I said, okay. And my wife said, what do you think? I said, I still wanna go home. Uh, she said, well, I think the doctor wants you to stay. I said, yeah, it looks like she does, but you know, there's nothing wrong. I'm glad of that, I wanna go home. The doctor came back again and she said, well, what is your decision? I said, well, I'd still like to go home. She said, well, you know, I was kinda hoping you arrived at another decision. Uh, she said, I can't keep you here. I, I, I would like for you to stay, but I can't keep you here. So since you are determined to go, I'll go ahead and prepare the release order uh, so we can send you home. And as she left the door, she turned around and she said, oh, by the way, she said, just in case um, you still want to go home by the time I return with these uh, re release orders, um, I've sent out and ordered uh, a couple of rolls of duct tape um, and the, the uh, providers will duct tape you to your bed. So I looked over at my wife and she looked at me and when the doctor left, uh, she said, what do you think? I said, I think I better stay. Um, when Dr. Longoria came back, uh, she didn't have any release order in her hand. She said, well, uh, did you, what did you decide? I said, well, I think I want to stay. She said, good decision. She said, I prepared uh, an order. You're going, to, you're going to be admitted and we're going to keep you overnight. And we're going to run some more tests. Um, after she left, my wife and I looked at each other and, and we laughed and she said, you know, she's a different kind of doctor. I said, yeah, it's the first time I've ever been threatened with duct tape. It was obvious. This doctor cared more about me and more about doing her job and make sure that her patients were completely taken care of before she sent me home because she could very easily have sent me home the first time. I was ready to go home. So that, that experience left me with a very good taste in my mouth as far as Onslow County Memorial Hospital and the emergency care and doctors in general uh, treat their patients. She set a standard that, that uh, pretty hard to top. 
Well, as a resident of uh, Jacksonville and Onslow County for over 33 years, um, I've seen vast improvement uh, in Onslow County Memorial Hospital. Uh, not to mention the improvements in uh, technology, uh, there are um, departments, uh, the emergency room has, has made a significant improvement and the construction is going uh, ongoing. That fact alone makes it, uh, I think, a lot easier, if easier is the word, um, to recruit doctors, um, good doctors, doctors that, that really care about the patients and, and have the knowledge uh, and care for the community. So that, that factor alone has, has helped Onslow County Memorial Hospital to achieve great standing, I think, not only with this community, but with doctors who would like to come in.